Hi guys, welcome back to the garden. Welcome to my channel. My name is Julie. My husband David and I live on a half an acre um, here in the Midwest and we like to grow food on that half an acre. We grow a lot of other stuff too, but um, I grow a lot of flowers. But uh, I want to share something with you today. Um, you think of seed saving as being something that you do in the fall, but it's really not. Um, seed saving starts almost as soon as things start growing. So uh, arugula is something that we plant and this arugula that we that just bolted, which means it goes to seed, uh, was something we planted and my husband sprinkled the seeds out in February. And that's still really cold, but arugula is a cold weather plant and it doesn't mind the cold so much. I mean, if the plant was growing and it froze, it would freeze back. But um, it also can reseed itself. But all of this that you see here and up on the propane tank here is arugula that we pulled, well, my husband pulled it, and it has gone to seed. Um, we're going to let that dry there for a few days and I will show you some from last year. You know, a lot of people think if you're saving seeds that you have to go out there and just uh, start pulling the seeds out and little bitty seeds. And you can, you can, but sometimes it's not worth it. This is last year's seed. All these little pods right here have a gajillion seeds in each one. Um, some of them have opened and come out. Uh, well, actually, these have, this is what he sowed, I guess. This is from the plants he used um, and harvest the seed out of them. But this is what it would look like if you let them dry. Um, you can put them, let them dry out and then put them in a box or something. So when the seed pods open up, uh, you can catch them and not let them go over. Because you'll have, goodness, I have, this box was from last year. Look at all that. And we just saved it like that in the basement. Um, it is always better if you can put it somewhere uh, after it's dried and have it uh, sealed so no moisture can get in it. But this actually did great. We had so much arugula. There's no way we could have eaten it all. So, um, which is good because you want it to go to seed. Um, let me show you some of these green seed pods here. Now we plant arugula twice a year. Um, reason being, well, because we have we can harvest it and eat it and I love arugula it's kind of spicy and it's really good it creates nitric oxide in your blood which is good for your heart and good for your veins um, this is what the little seed pods look like before they're dried and each one of those is full of a gajillion seeds that's a good number of gajillion so we plant in the spring and that's what you're seeing here that we harvested um, those will go to seed. Now we'll plant it again in the fall and we will be able to eat it, but because the seasons, the days get shorter and the temperatures get cooler, this arugula will never go to seed in the fall. So whatever we get this time of year, we will save seed, which I mean, you can see, look how much we have. We will have seed for next year for both plantings. So, and that's what we did last year. We had these and, um, we'll have enough planting for again in this fall. So anyway, that's how you save arugula seed. Um, and there are many other things that, seeds that are ready to be harvested too. Um, I don't know if you noticed, I did a post where I just showed a bowl of peas. Uh, they were sugar magnolia tendril peas that I picked up the other day, I harvested. And I blanched them, well we eat a lot of them just off the vine, but I blanched them and I put them in the freezer. You can use them for stir fry, whatever. Those are not the kind of peas that you hull and take the pea out of. Those are the kind that you would just eat the hull and everything. And if you pick them when they're young enough, uh, they're really tender and they're really good and they're very sweet. So those are nice and you can use those in stir fry or whatever. But um, the rest of them, Instead of pulling up the plants, there are some things that when when they bolt or they put on seed, go to seed, I will go ahead and pull up the plant if I don't want to save those seeds. Now, lettuces are something that I don't save seed on um, because it just would take up too much room in the garden and I don't want to do that. 
And I just will buy more lettuce seed. Um, and I buy so many varieties that there's no way I would just leave that much space to harvest lettuce. But the peas, um, I will let them go ahead and be sure they're mature. They will turn yellow on the vine. Then I will pull them up and I can just leave the whole plant and hang it and let those peas dry and I will have my seed for next year. I'll have more seed than I even need, more seed than I planted this year. So that's awesome. I will show you those in a minute. And um, I will show you my, I wouldn't normally save my Swiss chard seed, but my Swiss chard is bolting. And I had some that wintered over last year. If you have a plant that is especially strong and has done especially well, it's always good to save those seeds. That means it's adapted to your area really well. It's um, a very healthy plant, so it's gonna have very healthy seeds for the next year. So I, will, I am gonna go ahead and let that bolt, and I will save. It's just one plant of chard, doesn't take up a whole lot of room. And I'm gonna let that bolt and I will save the seeds from it. So let's go over here and I will show you the peas and I will show you the chard. All right, so these are some of the peas. And you can see they're starting to turn brown. And there's some peas that are overgrown on these. And they've gotten too big, they won't be tender. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let those stay on there and harvest those. And I'll pull the whole plant and just let them dry on the plant. And then I will harvest those seeds. And I will take those out of the pods and save those. Um, so that's what you can do if you get to something like that. You can do the same thing with green beans. Usually though, I'm gonna do probably three plantings of green beans. So um, I will tear those out and I might save my last ones, but there's always some that kind of get too big and you don't catch them and those you can save. Now here is the chard. Now you can see, let me see if I can give you a full shot of my Swiss chard right here. It has gotten big. And when you see it sprout up like that and get really small at the top, that means it's bolting. That means the days are getting longer and it's getting warmer and it's gonna bolt because it's a cool weather thing. And, but this did make it, so I want I do want to save these seeds. You can see this seed pod here is forming, and it's got lots of them. So I'm going to let that go to seed, and we'll visit that again at a later time. But I did want to show you that. And some things are worth saving the seeds, and if I have a Swiss chard that made it through winter, that's worth saving the seeds to me. All right, so I just wanted to talk to you about saving those seeds in the garden. Um... It's important to save seeds when you can. A few years ago, when we were going through the pandemic thing, uh, I went into Home Depot, and that's when you had to wait in line and you know distance yourself and all that good stuff. But I noticed something as I walked in the door, that all of the seeds were marked off and had this police tape looking stuff around them, and they were marked as non-essential items. And that kind of told me what could happen in the future um, if they chose to do that again. If you save your own seeds, it really doesn't matter. So um, anytime you can save seeds, it's a good thing. And, uh, and plus you get more and they're just like free. And uh, if you have a particular plant that you like, then uh, and the way it grows, and if it particularly likes your soil and your house and everything, then it likes you too and you should save the seeds and grow it again. Anyway, um, I do have a garden club. I started for like-minded people that want to learn to garden. Uh, we share ideas, share photos, um, and I can teach you how to garden like I garden. I have a pretty large garden here, and you can grow lots of food, and uh, it's just my passion to help people learn to garden. So if this video was helpful, uh, I'm gonna put the link to the garden club down below. Um, so check that out if this video was helpful to you, I would sure appreciate if you would like, subscribe, and share to my videos. Thanks for joining me in the garden, and I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a really big day in the garden. I've got things to harvest, tomatoes to stake, and uh, I'm going to get out here early and get started. So, thanks!